Let's show y'all this. What y'all think? What y'all think about that vibe? What a good thing, she boy Luke. Back with another video. And um Man, I noticed something on the um I noticed something on the Yukon. I was up under there the other day. And I noticed something on it. I noticed something that didn't sit. It didn't it didn't sit well with my spirit. Uh-oh. Let me back in here. Uh, yep. It didn't sit well with my spirit, so I'm gonna grab my tools and we're going to the pull apart. Yeah, yeah, yep. I'm gonna grab my tools and we're going to the pull apart. But first, let me show y'all what the deal is. So, right here, I am missing. Let me see if I can get in on there. I'm missing some bolts right there. I'm missing bolts right there. Right, see, see them two bolts right there? See that? I'm missing one bolt that goes through that cross member right there. And the bolt is on this side, but there's no nut. Y'all see that right there? Yeah. Yeah, that ain't right. <laughs> that ain't right. And then I was um I was going through some of my pictures and stuff and I like this thing right here is missing the sway bar. It's missing it completely. So I'm gonna go to LKQ and um I'm gonna pull a sway bar and I'm gonna pull those bolts, those bolts in that nut, that cross member bolt in that nut, because I think they got them. I think they got them on I think they got them on uh online for like 12 bucks a piece and <clears throat> LKQ can beat that then they sold I'm gonna buy them so I'm gonna go down here Yeah, I'm finna go down here and load my tools up. And um, we finna go on ahead and hit the dog on LKQ because it's a few more odds and ends that I need. Like interior pieces. Just just a little simple stuff. So if I can grab that on the cheap, that's what I'm gonna do. But for those of y'all that still um for those of y'all that's new to the channel, man, if y'all do me a favor, man. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, that way you notify when I drop another video. And um Yeah, don't be don't be afraid to comment, man. Hey listen, want y'all do something for me, man. In this video right here, I want y'all to comment and tell me where y'all watching me from. Yeah. Comment and tell me where y'all watching me from, because I'm just trying to I'm just trying I'm just trying to see what my range is at because I know I know that I got some people um I got a few people that watch me in Canada. I got a few people that watch me in Germany. So everybody else is in the US, but I just want to know where everybody's from. So if you would comment comment where you're from, man. Do me that solid. But um yeah. Let me back down here. I'm gonna back down here to the shop and load my tools and stuff up. Oh, she look good. She look good glistening in the sun. She look good glistening in the sun. Yeah. G pop do too. Look at G pop over there. Ooh, he look real wide. All right. Got my got all my tools and stuff lined up. Yep. So we out of here. All right, gang. We have arrived. We have arrived. I've um paid my admission fee 
and found what I was looking for. Man, look at this. Somebody cut that dog on frame in half. So it just made easy work for me. I guess they wanted to get the LS motor out of here. So, but I found, I found what I needed. I need this, um, I need this sway bar right here. So I'm gonna take this dog on sway bar. I don't know, I already popped the, um, the end links out. And then I need them bolts. Y'all see them two bolts right there? I need them. I need them. I hope they come out easy. Because I definitely need them. Or, or I need I need two of them. So I'ma go ahead and knock that out. I ain't gonna uh I ain't gonna hold y'all up on this process right here. But if I find anything else, oh I found that rear trim piece that I needed for the Yukon too. So I could pop that in as soon as I get out there. It goes above the back glass. But um yeah, as soon as I get that out, I'm gonna um, take a look around and see what else they got. Cause I did see an OBS truck over there with a visor on it. Now I don't know if I wanna put a visor on my truck, but it would be good to have in the parts bin. I still don't know if I'm gonna grab it yet, but I'm gonna show it to you guys when I get over there if somebody hadn't already grabbed it yet because it is pick and pull and we got families up in here we got families up in here like it's a doggone religion today. So, anyway, as I pull that sway bar off, I'll be back. All right. I got that sway bar, but I had to bend that one bracket to get it off. I got that sway bar, and then I got the windshield wiper. I got the windshield wiper thing that goes here, and then I got the nut and the winch and, the, and that, that little grommet piece that goes here because I don't, I don't have it. And you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I may as well grab this little rubber piece right here too, because I don't know if I'm gonna need it or not. <clears throat> Come on, rubber piece. Oh, can I pull it from the inside? Yeah, if I need to grab it, I'm, what is this? If I need to grab it, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh -oh. I'm probably gonna need to get that. That little, that little rubber piece. Uh, yep. We got it. Yep, I'm gonna need that too. But, let's see. I hope that's everything I need. Cause every time I leave this doggone place, I remember some crap that I need. And this, this, um, this thing is the same color. I wonder what, huh, that's out of a doggone Nissan. That is. And then, let's see, somebody, I know I already jacked the doggone door panels out of this thing, so. I can't get no door panel pieces. That piece right there, I need it. It's gone, so, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is, what else? Yeah, I can't use nothing else. Actually, everything else I have, like all the, um, most of all the trim pieces and stuff, I have it, but as you can see, this right here has a bench seat though, but I don't want to put a bench in mine. I want to keep the buckets. I want to keep the buckets. But anyway, uh, if y'all new to the channel, man, do me a favor, man. Hit that, uh, hit that subscribe button for your boy. Yeah. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, that way you're notified when I drop another video. And I'm gonna do some more looking around I ain't gonna keep the camera rolling or nothing like that, but y'all see how much is out here. And I'm at LKQ in a Greer. All right, gang. Now I tried not to look at it, but I found another roof rack. And look, this one's already short because it came off of a, 
on them Cadillac trucks, on them Cadillac EXTs. So it's already short. So I can go ahead and put that one. But the only bad thing about it is, I'm only gonna get it if they let me get a deal on it because it's missing the end caps. It's missing them, gang. You know what I'm saying? So they shouldn't charge me full price for that. They should not charge me full price for that. And I may not need, I may not need these right here. I might leave them. You know what I'm saying? I might just take the, the chrome sides. Yeah, I might just take the chrome sides and leave the crossbars because I think I got, I think I got crossbars. I'm gonna go back and look at some pictures that I got and make sure that these crossbars is the same. Cause if I got the same crossbars, I'm, I ain't buying them. I ain't buying them. I'm only buying the chrome strips. But I wanted to show y'all this. What y'all think? What y'all think about that visor? Hold on, let me see how it look. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about it, gang. It was a good idea when I was thinking about it, when I was thinking about grabbing it. But man, that, <laughs> that look old man status for real. That look G-pop status for real. I can't do it, I can't, I can't put the hat on him. I can't put the hat on G-pop. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that because I don't even like the way it look on this truck right here. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway. I'm finna get my lucky finds and I'm finna get up out of here. All right, we out of there. We went and we got what we needed. I got them bolts. I got that windshield wiper doohickey. Um, and I got a roof rack. I really didn't need that roof rack but when I see it, I grab it. When I see it, I grab it, gang, because if somebody else see it, they're gonna grab it for sure. And that one was already short. So I went on and grabbed it. Y'all see it? It's back there. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna take some measurements when I get to the house because hot it's hot today yeah and uh i'm gonna work and bring y'all some content yep bring y'all some content and then i'll probably um i ain't gonna be able to put that sway bar on today I'm probably going to have to put it on tomorrow, though, because I got an appointment for my alignment on Tuesday. So I'm most definitely going to need to um, put those bolts in the front end and put that sway bar on and... Um, Hopefully I can get me an alignment without a hitch because I want these lights to go off. That traction control and that, which I know my tire sensor light ain't gonna go off on this right here because the tires ain't got no tire sensors in them. So, yeah. That's what's going on, so. It's gonna take me probably 35, 40 minutes to get back to the Krisnib. So, once I get back to the doggone house, um, I'll be back because we, we, we're going to be working on G-Pop today. And whatever else I decide to work on. So, yeah. Alright. We made it back to the house. And, um, I was real excited. I was real excited about that. Yeah, somebody painted all this right here. And um, I went on to grab it anyway. Look at that, let's peel some paint off of it. Yep. Yep, 
Somebody didn't know what they was doing. They was painting this dog on thing. But anyway, I'm really excited about that right there. I've been looking for that. So I'm going to put that little bracket on there. And I'm going to try to find a nut to fit that right there. Because I got a new windshield. Uh, I got a new windshield wiper. So I'm probably going to put that on there too. But I need to get this stuff. I need to get this stuff right here unloaded. Yeah. I'm going to get this stuff unloaded. I'm going to get those bolts put in there. Um, and I probably can't put... I probably ain't going to be able to put that dog on sway bar. Um, I probably ain't going to be able to put that sway bar on. Because I, I don't have the end links. And... Um, I should have grabbed them. I should have grabbed them when I was there, but the the the, the sway bar end links that I wanted was on a Yukon XL, and they were like some aftermarket ones, but the problem was I couldn't get, the way that they had that thing sitting up there, I couldn't get underneath it to undo the, the bolt, because they had it like sitting on, it was dug down in the ground, so. And it was probably rusted anyway, so whatever. You know what, I probably should have got that trim piece to go right there, but. Until next time, I wasn't thinking. I was only thinking about getting that piece right there. And I got it, too. I got it. Yeah. I got it. And see, all these pieces up here, all them pieces up there, I have them. I have them. They're just there in that in that bin right there. So, I'm going to unload my dog on tools. And y'all know they charged me the same dog on price for this right here, even though it didn't have the the end caps lkq you gotta do better which i'm gonna get it anyway i'm gonna get it anyway you know but uh you gotta do better man i mean people that freak with you you know what i'm saying like if if if, if something missing the dude told me that they charge the same amount whether a door is dented or if paint missing he said they charge the same amount they don't care i mean people are gonna buy it People are going to buy. And I had somebody ask about the motorcycle in the comment section last time. The motorcycle's right here, as you can see. I have not done anything to it. Um, I mean, I hadn't even moved the book. Still got the maintenance book. It's still sitting there. Um, the stock air box. I, I still got everything. I need to get those carbs rebuilt. Um, you know, I don't even know if this dog gonna thing will start. Nope, no lights. So the battery probably needs to be recharged. I mean, it's still sitting here. It is what it is. And. I really want to snatch the motor out of this and strip everything down. Strip everything down off of this. I really do. I mean. Yeah. But this thing right here is it's really expensive to work on. Even being this old, I mean, with it being German, it's just it's still expensive to work on. But anyway, let me unload my tools. And I'm probably going to get them bolts and stuff put in there and see if I can get a deal on them sway bar uh, end links. Okay, I set it up there. So, either I'm going to have to drill new holes or because... Uh, maybe I'm going to have to... I may have to drill new holes because, yeah, and then these holes right here ain't, I don't know. I'm going to have to get this one off right here first because I may just leave it. I may just leave it, just leave it whole instead of cutting it and just fill these holes right here. I may just fill these holes. And then leave this right here whole. Um, I think it'll contour. 
I don't know. I mean, it's that joke was long. Hold on. Let me get down. Let's look at it from the side. Yeah. Ah. See, my thing is, is that gonna contour down to the to the roof, or do I need to do I need to just go ahead and cut it? Cause that's why I went on and got this one because I didn't want I didn't want to cut that long one. It's gonna look good though. Yeah, it is gonna look good once I get it up there. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, gang. I really don't. But I do know I need to get that old one off. I'm gonna do another video on that right there. I, you know, I, I, I just took it out the truck and um, I just took it out the Yukon and set it up there just to see what I was dealing with. So, um, yeah, I'll be back when I decide what I'm doing. So y'all can see how much shorter this one, this one is off a of Cadillac and this one is off of a Cadillac EXT. So it's shorter. I mean, it's shorter by a long shot and see this piece is super long. Is this the front? Let's find out. I don't know which way it's supposed to be facing. It does have it does have arrows that tell me, but I can't see them. Wait, here we go. Okay, so this is the front, and those pieces that I got to go here and here, they don't. Um, what is that? Oh, that must be out of that bed. They don't fit. Yeah. Those pieces that I got for this one, they are for this one. They won't fit the EXT model, so I'm gonna have to outsource these pieces right here because like I said, they didn't have them and I'm gonna paint them white anyway, for sure. Got a few scratches on that. I'm gonna have to buff that out, yeah. I'm gonna have to buff that out, but I mean, all in all, it look good. It do look good, but that's the difference between the two. All right. The worst Yukon in America. It lives up to its name once again. Yeah. And I'm gonna show y'all why. I'm gonna show y'all why I call this doggone thing the worst Yukon in America. Cause it's like, every step so trying to put the dog on sway bar in and look at what i found look at what i found over here Ugh. look at look looky looky look it i see that that right there. <laughs> Somebody broke the bolt off, which I soaked it. I soaked it in PB Blaster. So I'm gonna let it like sit overnight or whatever. And cause I don't have any, I don't have any doggone um, butane for my torch. Cause what I want to do is I want to heat the frame up and just grab it with a pair of vice grips or whatever and uh, get it up out of there. Cause that hole right there is clear. The holes on the other side, they're clear. It's like the underneath of this mug is beat to hell. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't know that. But I did get my bolts in. I got them in and they're tight. They're snug, they're good. And um, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. That's what we're doing right now. <laughs> but anyway. 
I may come out. I may come back out here later on this evening and crank this dog on torch up. Yeah, because I really want that sway bar on there. But I'm not in a rush to put that sway bar on there because I don't have the sway bar end links. Um, I was just going to tighten it up and push it up and just let it hang. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, gang, because... Uh, it's Sunday, and I need to wind down for work tomorrow. And I'm probably finna go, probably finna go jump on some GTA 5 and ruin some people's day. You know, <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm finna do. Um, how many of y'all in here play uh, uh, Gran Turismo? Gran Turismo. I'm finna go get on Grand Theft Auto. But I be playing Gran Turismo, but I kind of got bored with it. Once I got to a certain, once I got to a certain spot, like I'm bored with it now. I haven't played that game in a minute. And then I bought that Spider-Man. I do like games. I came, I came from the Sonic Hedgehog Atari era. Yeah. So, but. Y'all drop in the comment section. Let me know what y'all like to play, man. Let me know. Let me know. And, uh, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. And uh, I'm out, gang. Peace. <laughs>